Hey good morning everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar and in this video we are going to deploy Flund D on Kubernetes cluster. Flund D not only capture application logs, it also capture Kubernetes system components logs like kubelets, kube proxy and docker logs. Before implementing Flund D on Kubernetes environment, let's try to understand Kubernetes logs architecture. These are few kind of logs written by Kubernetes cluster. One is Kubernetes cluster login. Second is node level login. Third is application container login. Fourth one is events and audit logs. Let's discuss one by one. These are main core components of Kubernetes cluster that writes logs. Some of these components run in a container and some of them run on operating system like Kube API server, Kube proxy, Kube scheduler, etc are run in container environment where has kubelet agent run on operating system has a system d service system d service or kubelets write logs to channel d you can access these logs on each machine in kubernetes cluster these are kube agent logs that can be read by flund d other components that are running in a containers write a logs on var log containers and this path has symbolic link to this location let's look at it as you can see this path is empty but it has a symbolic link on this location docker is writing logs of each container on this location and kubectl read logs for each container from this location. We will mount this path in flundd configuration file so that flundd can read logs for containers. Second is node level login. When a container running on Kubernetes, it writes logs in a standard error or a standard out stream. In most case, these logs will end up the location var log containers or var lib docker containers. You can access these logs via journal D or kubectl. Let's look at. So these are logs from docker system D. You can access the logs for each containers. Let's try to access logs for this container. So these logs are from ATCD container. Next one is application container login. These logs are written by the application that is running in a container. If your application is cloud native standard, then application is writing the logs in standard error or standard out if you migrated your legacy application on kubernetes environment and your legacy application is not writing the logs in standard error or standard out then you can attach a sidecar with the application container to capture the application log and last one is events you can pull down the events for the particular ports or particular deployment by using kubectl now we have discussed about the important logs that are written by the kubernetes cluster now let's implement the flun d to capture all these logs in kubernetes cluster you can refer the official documentation on Flundy, how to configure or set up the Flundy on Kubernetes environment.
we are going to set up the Flundy as a daemon set on the Kubernetes cluster. You can get the source code on GitHub. This is the file we are going to use it. I modified this file as per our Elasticsearch environment. This is my flundd daemon set file. I am going to set up the flundd in elk namespace. I created a separate service account called flundd. I also created a cluster role and this cluster role will get the access on ports, namespace, all the APIs with get, list and watch permission. We are binding this cluster role with the Flundy service account. We are going to set up Flundy as a daemon set. This is the image for this daemon set service. This is the address of Elasticsearch in my Kubernetes cluster environment. You can get the address of already implemented Elasticsearch in your environment. This is the address of Elasticsearch service and it is listening on 9200 port number. Modify this value according your Elasticsearch environment and this is the port number. It is going to volume mount on two location var log to capture the Kubernetes cluster logs another volume mount where docker service is writing all the logs on individual container that's only settings or modification required in this file go ahead and upload on your kubernetes workstation let's go ahead and set up the flundd by using the flundd daemon set file for the elastic search All required resources has been created. Let's verify the ports. Three ports are running. One for master and two for worker machine. Now look at the Elasticsearch indexes. These are indexes on the Elasticsearch. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Flund D successfully started. Forward the logs to Elasticsearch. This is the index created for today. The flunt D usage logstars has a file prefix. Let's look at the Kibana dashboard. This is my Kibana dashboard. If you are accessing Kibana dashboard first time, then you require to create the index. Go to home page and click on index pattern. From here, you can create index pattern. Click on Create index. You will see a list of the indexes. These are indexes on my Elasticsearch machine. So I already created index pattern with name logstats. Once you are ready with index pattern, then go ahead and click on discover. I am okay with last 15 minutes logs. Go ahead and refresh it. Now you can search the logs for the Kubernetes cluster components or particular ports or containers. Let's filter out all the logs for kubelets. Run this query. No result found in this time range. Extend your time range from 15 minutes to 24 hours. Okay, we got all the logs for kubelets. Let's expand it. This particular Kubernetes log is getting captured from worker01. Let's try to access kubelet logs 
manually on this machine yes this is the same kubernetes components logs you can filter out all the kubelet logs per machine click on host name 52.6% kubelet logs from worker 2 46.3% from worker 1 and 1.1% from master machine if you want to check the kubelet logs only from worker 2 machine then click on zoom icon now you can see here all kubelet logs are filtered out for the second machine now suppose that you want to pull out all the logs from docker daemon service go ahead and filter out so these are logs from docker service This docker logs are coming from worker1 machine again you can filter out these logs per machine let's look at the docker logs from master machine let's pull out docker logs manually on master machine yes flundy captured the same docker logs on master machine now let's try to get logs for particular pod or container for example let's pull out the logs for this particular pod so these are recent log for kibana ports let's pull out the same logs in kibana dashboard filter out all the logs for this container all the logs has been pulled down for this particular containers it is capturing all the logs from kibana dashboard container you can create the dashboard in kibana click on dashboard at this moment my dashboard is empty click on create new dashboard then click on widget the visualize app now create new one from here you can select any virtualization for your data for example if you want total count of matrix then select metric then select source of data these are total count of matrix if you check last 24 hours 197,000 matrix in last 24 hours you can save it let's create few more visualization this time let's create a data table select a source data and click on bucket then add it then click on split rows select the terms and select a field I am selecting the container name order by count and size will be 5 in descending order let's go ahead and run it you can see top 5 container or port name go ahead and save it let's create one more visualization
this time we are selecting pie chart select the source click on add and click on split slices then select the trims and this time we are selecting host name keyword go ahead and run it now you can easily identify which machine have more count for example worker 2 has 42 percent master machine has only 2.7 percent and worker 01 machine has 55 percent total events go ahead and save it now we are ready with our visualizations now let's create dashboard click on dashboard then click on add button you can see here our created visualization select one by one go ahead and close it you can see your visualization on the dashboard save the dashboard for future use in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye